All right, beginning of day two. Uh, we're trying to get the motor to turn over to test compression to decide if we have to pull the head or not. And the starter motor appears to be uh, a non-starter motor. Um, but we have wheels. That is the first thing you need on a vehicle that doesn't run, has no hood, and is missing an interior. Is a nice set of sticky tires. So we have some very, very, yeah, very, very heat cycled six year old RE71. So that'll be phenomenal. Um, got the battery hooked up and some uh, soda cans shoved in there since these terminals are way too big. And now we're attempting to get the starter motor off. Probably cross threaded the heck out of it. Did you get it unstuck? Yes. So the starter motor gear, the starter spins, but it doesn't fly forward. We do have teeth on the flywheel. We've drained the gas out. Just make sure that wasn't bad. Smells, Smells lovely. So this is the cylinder with the bad leak down test. Yep. Hey, it's actually not bad. That'll work. That'll do better than work. This will be running. It'll run very soon. All right, movie magic. We got lazy and forgot to record video for most of the day. Um, nothing too exciting came about. Most of it was scavenging around looking for the pieces parts we were missing. So we think we have everything we need to test fire it, except for gas. So Tim ran out to grab gas. We're getting the throttle body hooked up, and in theory, it'll roar to life. Put to life. Put to put and sputter to life. Sputter to life. Did you plug that one already? Yeah, I want to put yeah. Okay, so this is a 1.6. Somebody spliced in a 1.8 uh, throttle body position sensor. And we're trying to figure out how they actually did that, because the 1.6 has four wires, this one has three, and we don't see the end of the fourth wire anymore. And from here back, it looks factory, but... So now we're into wire debug to figure out what is going on here.
Yeah, like maybe just reconnect, connect, getting everything connected would help. Yeah, I don't know. We, don't, we, we need, need the rest of the engine. We didn't set our ignition timing. I'm not thinking that's working correctly. Just didn't want to well, run it's also us. not really attached yet. Hmm. I'm, I don't know, I might just be that we have the 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 tech sensors hooked up yeah, in the injectors. <clears throat> Alright, so end of day two. It technically runs. Barely. Um, yeah, something's not quite right. There's a lot of stuff that we know is wrong, though, so we're going to start with just fixing all that stuff. And then we'll we'll do the debug after that. So the biggest thing is we didn't have any 1.6 fuel injectors laying around, so we threw in some 1.8s, and I'm pretty sure that's the main issue. But no knocking. The motor actually, minus the stuttering, sounds pretty good. So just got to get it smoothed out, and it'll be all set.